it's me, ASMR Shani. And if you're like me and you left 2023 feeling a little stressed and anxious, why don't the both of us try leaving some of that stress at the door and bringing today's sponsor, Cook Unity, to the table. Cook Unity is the first chef to you meal delivery service. Made up of over 70 chefs who believe that great food should be for everyone, and not just those who have the time and skill set to do it themselves. Each week, award-winning chefs craft hundreds of globally inspired meals, from vegetarian to paleo and everything in between. Meals are delivered fresh, not frozen, and the menu rotates every week, so there's always something new for you to try. All you have to do is head over to cookunity.com. Tell them what you like and what you don't like, and then pick a meal plan. You can get anywhere from 4 to 16 meals a week delivered right to you with all the info you need to start your meal right then and there. And Cook Unity is super flexible. If you're out of town or just need to take a break, you can reschedule, skip a week, or pause your subscription at any time. If you have dietary restrictions or are just trying something else for the new year, no need to worry. The Cook Unity chefs offer a wide range of dietary preferences, including vegan, paleo, and gluten-free options. When I chose my meals, I went with beef peepinbap, adobo pulled pork tacos, Thai pineapple chicken fried rice, but tonight we're eating spicy pork with caramelized kimchi from Chef Esther Choi. Yes, that Esther Choi, the recent Iron Chef winner. I can't wait. The holidays can be a stressful time for everyone, and now that they're behind us, I'm glad I can count on Cook Unity to keep some of that stress in the past. Being able to simply heat up one of their meals in the oven while I do some work or Relax with some ASMR makes it taste just that much better. So go to cookunity.com slash shanny50 or click on the link below in the description and use code shanny50 at checkout to get 50% off your meals today to try Cook Unity for yourself. Hey, can you see me? <sighs> Looks worse than I thought. Ambulance is almost here, okay? There you go. Eyes open. Okay. Listen, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here. It looks like they've got you in a stable condition, but um, I'm gonna be honest. The person who just took care of you said that this was above their pay grade and uh, they kind of bolted. And I guess I'm... Uh, next in line because I'm medically trained to look after you, but I, I honestly, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing, but it's going to be okay because the, um, the ambulance is almost here, okay? Okay. I don't know how much you remember, but I need to try to get some information from you, okay? Uh, don't worry, they closed up the place for the rest of the day, so it's just us here, um, okay, uh, no, 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 stay with me, good, 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 why don't we just start by taking a look at your wound here, they got it covered up, let's just see here, nope, 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 let's just close that back up, yeah, I don't, let's, The, quite the bite there. Um, let's start here. What's your name? Yeah, just what's your name? Okay, and uh, what year is it? Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 1987. Yeah, okay. Um, thinking, I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking. Huh. Okay. Don't suppose you're hungry or thirsty. Nope. Okay. Um, Alright, let's just start by, um, let's just see if I can keep you in stable condition, okay? Let's just focus on your breathing. In through your nose. And, um, how much do you, uh, 
remember. That may be in poor taste, but I really need to know. Okay. Alright. Um, I'm gonna, um, roll up your shirt here. Alright, deep breaths in. It seems to be okay for now. A little bit on the lower side, but um, from the blood loss, that's to be expected here. All right. Are you seeing okay? Any blurred vision? No, 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 don't worry. Um, all the animatronics have been decommissioned for the night. I don't suppose you remember which one gave you that old bite, do you? Okay. Put this around your arm here, and I'm just going to check your blood pressure. is elevated, but that's to be expected. Okay. Are you holding up okay? Let's do this, shall we? I'm gonna run a quick little cranial nerve exam on you just while we wait, okay? Just to keep you alert and how you're doing, okay? Now you were able to remember your name, okay? And the year is 1987, right? Keep working on your breathing. And out. Now, um, do you remember the last thing you saw? Okay, um, all right. I don't suppose you remember the animatronic that you were with? Could have been maybe like Freddy, um, Bonnie, Toy Bonnie, Toy Chica, maybe Mingle. It's just the name we give to the one that the kids take apart. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take a look into your eyes here. Hold on one second. Let me get a bright. Right here, don't stay with me, stay with me. Don't look away, don't look away. Okay. You don't have any doubled vision or blurred vision, okay. Alright, I'm gonna grab something, hold on. Okay. I have some water for you here. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna be honest. It, it's not great looking, but I'm gonna take good care of you till I get here. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> here's some water. And yep, just to make sure you stay hydrated. Okay. If 
at any point you feel lightheaded or faint, you let me know, okay? I want you to follow this light with your eyes, okay? Yeah, keep your head, neck, and shoulders still for me. And just follow this light. Okay. Don't get distracted, don't get distracted. Don't look away, don't look away. Just follow this light. Good. Okay. up your mouth, stick out your tongue, right, okay, and are you hearing okay, no tunnel hearing, or, <clears throat> well, tunnel hearing makes things kind of seem far away, I right, well, we'll test that too, <clears throat> first things first, let me Everything's decommissioned for right now, like I said. They've turned everything off while we wait. And trust me, this could be all over the news. A bite of 87. I'm going to hold up my fingers. I want you to look right here. It's going to be okay. Just tell me how many fingers I'm holding up, okay? All right, here we go. Three. I'm going to move my fingers out of your peripherals and you tell me when you can't see them anymore, okay? Here we go. Okay, yeah, let's try again. Okay, let's try again. Okay, okay maybe I'm just, it's not looking so hot. <laughs> Uh, stay with me here a minute. Yeah, I know. This will be much more stimulating for you. I have this little light up cube here, and I just want you to follow it with your eyes, okay? One second here. Alright. And now just follow this. you're following the wrong key. Are you having that double vision we talked about? Okay. Alright. Then, uh, let's go ahead and move on then. I'm gonna go ahead and test your hearing here. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. Good. 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 Good.
I'm going to say some numbers into your ears and you just repeat them back to me, okay? Alright. 24. <laughs> no. Um. 87. <laughs> no. Uh. 13. Okay, let's try this side. worried that the ambulance should be here soon. Here, I'm just going to take this off of you. You won't be needing this anytime soon. Um, okay. <clears throat> they should be here soon. Um, I'm going to say some words and you just the tuning fork next and see if that helps, okay? Alright. I have these right here and I'm just going to clean out your ears. So good in test your sense of smell and taste, okay? Just to see how much uh, that bite to your frontal lobe here has uh, <clears throat> affected your overall ability to function. Okay. tuning fork right here. I'm going to give it a whack and hold it up to your ears and uh, you tell me when it's Let's test your sense of smell, okay? I have 
this file right here and I have this one for your taste. I'm going to shake this up. Actually, you don't leave your eyes open. I don't need you falling asleep. <clears throat> I'm gonna hold it up to your nose and you tell me what you smell. Okay. Here's the first one. And what do you smell? No, it doesn't smell like iron. It smells like vanilla. Okay. That's okay. We'll do another one here. Here is our next file. No, it doesn't smell like ink. It smells like uh, like flowers. Yeah, like a rose. Okay. All right. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go ahead and do like your sense of taste. It looks like it's orange. So uh, let's let's just do one more here. I'm sure the ambulance will be here any moment um, to help us out. All right. <clears throat> No, that one was mint. Okay. Um, all right. Go ahead and uh, open up your mouth and stick out your tongue for me again. All right. And, um, can you swallow for me? Great. You weren't having any issues swallowing. Okay. Very good. Okay. One second. I'm just going to grab something here. Yeah. 
that's feeling, but I'm sure it doesn't feel great. Oh, you're numb. Okay. Then you definitely do not feel anything, which is not promising. Okay. This sharp point and this fluffy end and I'm going to touch different parts of your face and you just tell me what I'm touching, okay? And if it's soft or sharp. Here we go. Oh yeah, I'm touching your face. You can't. We're done with that. I think it's not going to. It's not going to get better than that. Um, okay. Um, well, uh, stay with me. You're not falling asleep, are you? You can't fall asleep. You gotta stay awake. Yep. But just till they get here, they should be here any minute. I was told to um, measure the wound here. No, I'm fine. Are you fine? Hold still. I'm just going to just measure the length, width, and depth here. Okay. And I'll just do three, four. Be fine. 
I don't think they need much more than that. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I'm not really... We have a suture kit, but I'm not really... I haven't really done sutures much other than in like um, classroom environments and I don't think um, that's really gonna help you there. They're probably almost here any minute. Um, but uh, I have this band-aid. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna, you know, let's just wrap you back up. Mm-hmm. Let's just, let's just wrap it back up here, and we'll let that, we disinfected it, that should be enough, we disinfected it, and they'll be able to take care of that at the hospital for you. Good, yes, um, that's fine. Yeah. All right, um, just stay with me, and, oh, I hear, I hear someone at the door, okay, you wait right here, I'll be right back. 